Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and today I'm going to show you how to make a robot voice using Audacity, which is some excellent free sound editing software. Okay, first we need to record a robot voice. So I'll click the record button. We are the robots. You might recognize that from the Kraftwerk song, We Are the Robots. Okay, I'm going to zoom this in a bit so I can see it full screen. While I'm here, I'll point out that this is quite a good recording. The loudest bits are at the top. There's a bit of range between the quiet bits and the loud bits. And the silent bits are pretty much silent. It's good to find a quiet place to record in and not be recording with a lot of background noise or your robot voice is not going to sound very good. Okay, I'm going to trim off the bits I don't need because there's no point turning bits of silence into robot voices. It just takes more time on the computer. And I always use keyboard shortcuts. So Command-T or Control-T, depending on what kind of computer you're using. That will trim all the bits off that you haven't selected. And I'm going to use the Time Shift tool, this double-handed arrow, and slide the whole audio back to the start. We are the robots. OK, so there's my sound. Now I'm going to make the robot voice. So I go to Effect. I'm going to press V, because that jumps me down to V and down to vocoder. I'm going to be going back and forth quite qu a lot, trying out different effects. So the quicker I can make this process of bringing up the effect, the better. If I have to keep scrolling up and down with the mouse, that slows me down. OK, this looks complicated, but it's really quite simple. I'll give you some settings to start with and then explain and demonstrate what the different parameters actually do. Firstly, I'm going to set amplitude of original audio down to zero. That's how much of my voice I want to hear. I don't want to hear my voice at all. I just want to hear the robot. I'm not going to do any white noise yet, so that can go at zero as well. Amplitude of radar needles, we want that to be 100. I can just type 100 into that box or use a slider. And the frequency of radar needles, I'll leave that around 65 for now. Distance, I'll leave at 66. I'll press OK and I should have a robot voice. There we go, one robot voice. And now I'm going to undo that and go back to my normal voice. We are the robots. And I'm going to show you some things you can do with this. OK, distance is the first control. That controls how kind of ringy or echoey the sound is. If I put this down to one and play that, that's quite short and sort of clipped. I'll undo that again because I want to affect my voice and not the robot voice I've just made. Back to effect and make this 116. You can hear that's a lot kind of more ringy, there's less gaps between the words. I'm going to put this back to around the middle. Next is the number of vocoder bands. Output choice I can just leave as it is on both channels. Vocoder band is how computery it sounds. Currently it's 10, and the robot does sound very kind of computery and not very human. If I put this at the far end, up to 233, okay that one. It's a lot easier to understand the words with that. It sounds more human. Put this back in the middle somewhere, so that halfway between robot and human. I'm ignoring those two. Amplitude of radar needles I can ignore. The last one is frequency of radar needles. This is just the pitch of the voice. Because you'll notice it came out on a single note, and I can choose which note I want. The higher the number, the higher the pitch. So this will be a very high-pitched robot. And if I want a deep bass robot, I can slide this the other way, down to 20, let's say. That's actually quite hard to understand even because the, the frequency is so low. Here's a chart of some of the frequencies you can use if you want a particular note in the scale.
And the last setting I haven't covered yet is white noise. This is kind of how hissy the sound is. You probably know that white noise is a kind of <laughs> sound. So if I turn that up, it'll use that sound as well as a kind of pitch to make the, the robot voice. So that's quite like a robot snake or something. So that's pretty much all you need to know. So go away and make robot voices. Have fun.